Aries, you need to know this right now for August the 10th through August the 11th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for August the 10th through August the 11th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for August the 10th through August the 11th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for August the 10th through August the 11th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Aries, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Aries, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Aries, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Now Aries, you could be receiving some type of blessing, money, assets, resources, property. Someone may be giving you something here. Aries, someone may be giving you a token of love or wanting to bring balance and start new with you. Or you're telling me that someone was giving more, someone else giving to two. Someone here has new love. Aries, you have the Queen of Wands. This is you, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change and your luck and fortune. Where well, this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Aries, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aries. Clarify the wheel of fortune. For Aries. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aries. It is clarified with you, Aries, again, the Queen of Wands, okay? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. 
Aries, Leora Sag. This is a brand new passionate creative endeavor. Now this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting passionate communication, exciting passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new passionate beginnings. So Aries, you can tell me you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This could be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Now Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're initiating something to change things between you guys. You could be the one that's giving something here so that you guys can start new. Some type of token of love or bringing balance. Aries, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed because there was a heated discussion or argument. Now, is it over some type of blessing and someone being shortchanged? Aries, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed because someone started a passionate new beginning. They were giving more somewhere else, giving to two with new love here. Is it you? Hmm. Hmm. Aries, you have five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Aries, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the five of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the five of pentacles. For Aries. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. For Aries. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else, causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Aries could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Aries. Clarify the devil for Aries. Clarify the devil for Aries. It is clarified with the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. And this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Aries, you can tell me that you're weighing things up trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Now Aries, listen, you can tell me that yes, you guys broke up, but you're tempted to come in and initiate something here to change things and maybe give a token of love or bring balance. You're weighing it up trying to decide should you, shouldn't you. Or Aries, you're telling me that this relationship was toxic and you guys broke up because someone was juggling. Someone was giving more, someone else giving to two. Was it you? Aries, you have the king of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also, with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles again, again. So like I said, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more, someone else giving to two. Now, Aries, you can tell me you have a great deal of love for this person, so you want to come in and give something here, bring balance, give a token of love. Aries, you can tell me that you're trying to master your emotions because you guys could have had a heated discussion or argument 
over being shortchanged concerning some type of blessing, some type of dealing with your luck and fortune here. Aries, you can tell me that you're trying to master your emotions here because someone was giving more, someone else giving to two. You or them. Aries, you have the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Aries, someone very well may have commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clear about the Ten of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles again. So like I said, Aries, it could be some type of financial lack going on here, or this is a breakup. Now, Aries, it could be a breakup or an ending of you guys' relationship or commitment because of finances here. You guys could have had some type of heated discussion or argument over the change in luck and fortune, and now there's financial lack. Aries, you can tell me that, yes, there's just a breakup of you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Because someone was juggling, someone was giving more, someone was giving to two, and I still question, is it you? I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for you and your partner, Aries. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I wasn't ready to settle down. I wasn't ready to settle down. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Aries. And it says, you are the best thing in my life. You are the best thing in my life. Aries, you need to know this right now for August the 10th through August the 11th, 2024. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.